Hi, my name is Shiko. I live in a kind of an old house. This is my master bedroom, which shows so many signs of its age, but I still love and adore it so much because growing up, among the things I ever hoped to achieve is have a house with a toilet inside, let alone a house with a bedroom, with a toilet and a bathroom inside it. How life is amazing sometimes. So I love and adore this place, but I've not been able to do so much about it since I moved into this house. It's a rental, so there's only so much I can do. What I want to do today, though, is to give it a facelift, to give it a kind of my character, to make it like feel like my place, to kind of own it. There's only so much I can do, but we are going to change up and switch up just a few things, uh, a few aesthetics here and there to just have it feel like my own place. So stick with me to the end. Thank you. wall in this room so i decided on what wall to work with and now what i'm doing here is putting on my peel and stick wallpaper as you can see i chose this brick like design because it's so simple and i just love the way its tone goes up with my walls since i'm not planning to repaint so i had to go for something that will really fit into my space it is kind of tricky to do this wallpaper but all you need to do Pro tip is make sure you're not leaving any air bubbles. So take your time and be patient with it. The next place I, I worked on is uh, this storage area. It is like a drugstore, come beauty salon, come cleaning area, products area, everything, you name it. So I had to take out all of that clutter because it's like clutter since it's not everything I use every day and leave only the stuff that I would need on a daily. <music> Aside from the usual soap and water, these two got to be my favorite cleaning products in the bathroom. The mold buster does a great job and so that does the disinfectant. So I use it in the tub, on the tiles, and in the sink, and on the floor. <music> bathroom is clean the next thing i'm doing is to kind of take away the visual noise you saw in there 
all so many labels so many colors different brands of things so everything that is going to be left in the bathroom will have to be color coordinated so i took these old lotion bottles and sprayed them so that i can use them to decant my hand wash and my body wash next thing we are going to decant is the mouthwash because it's staying uh we are using this glass decanter that i got on offer sometime back from house of leather which i really love and haven't used for quite some time we are going to pair it with some short glasses just for use next we are going now to place our items both for how functional they can be and also for aesthetics kindly stick with me all the way to the end and I'm burned by the morning light I make the same mistake more than twice Same song, but brand new dance I wear out my third second chance You take my breath and I can't get it back Might be time for me to face the facts The best me Cuttings are so mid-century, but uh, the vibe I was going for, or which is more of like my style even in other places, is a kind of transitional vibe since I feel like I incline towards different aspects of different styling designs. So this textured curtain will completely suit this space because it was so plain, just kind of open and which is also a good aesthetic. But for this time round, we are going to switch things up a bit and have this curtain downing this. The next thing I'll be doing is something just for extraness. I'll be stamping my tissues. I feel like they look so good and aesthetically pleasing when you do that. So I just simply do that with my tab and they look so good. The extra tissues are going into this corner which I created. I used that little stool in a basket just to add some texture and some like a bohemian element. Remember we mentioned it's a transitional vibe going on so there will be a bit of classic textures, a bohemian look here and there in this space and they all fuse together to bring out a good look which I love full of texture and amazing beautiful elements. Then there is this uh, placement that I really love that says wake up and be awesome. It's a good thing to come across first thing in the morning. I want to add some greenery and just some flora, some freshness, some blossom and I'm going to be using these fox flowers that I got from Stage Market some time back. Forgive the lighting uh, but what I want is for them to go above the window and just have them drape and bring in some some good vibes as the light reflects on them style gives one a lot of freedom so on this space i'm going to put uh, this a fox succulent plant and some souvenirs that i collected from the beach last time i was on holiday which i love so they just complement each other, the desert and the sea, kind of. <laughs> yeah, and now this is my bathroom after everything is done. 
I love the texture brought in by this curtain. It brings in just a whole new different aura to this space because it kind of shadows, it gives that feel of privacy when in the bathroom, that kind of separation which I love. The black containers look amazing. They kind of look harmonious in the space. The products I couldn't decant are hidden by the curtain so there's no much noise quote and quote if you just enter the bathroom and then i love love how that message speaks to me every time i enter the bathroom this got to be my favorite favorite flushable wipes love them so i put them together with the tissue a little bit in the corner there and this got to be my favorite corner in this bathroom i love the aesthetic kind of so my vibe and just look at how silent and neat and clean this space is right now i removed all the cleaning products and what we have there is just what we need mouthwash i could get my short glasses so that cup will do for now and then these are my makeup cotton pads and uh, earbuds a beautiful beautiful and nice smelling uh diffuser that i got from someone i can tag you guys if you're interested kindly let me know and i love how it feels in here it smells like a spa literally on the floor if you can peep there is a black mat that is um it's a kind of plastic kind of waterproof thing that i just love because i love to feel a nice floor so i put that on the floors i got it at day to day mall i i'll try put a picture so that you can see what it looks like and just look at that i love how everything came together i love especially how the sun is hitting this space right now as i film i love how my tub area looks just see how that curtain drapes gorgeously over there in that corner i love 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 everything let me know what you think let me know how i did let me know if it's something you would try and uh yeah, kindly just let me know what I can improve. Thank you so much for tuning into my channel. Thank you so much for watching. And if you've gotten to this point, why are you stalling if you've not subscribed? Kindly subscribe to my channel, support and encourage my content. And until next time, take care and bye.